What is going on, YouTube world? It is Sam the Car Guy here with another video, and today I'm a little curious about this little device that I had seen multiple commercials for called Fixed. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I am making this on my own because I'm just an interested consumer, like most people. And the other day, the Infinity did have a check engine light come on, so I was curious. Can this actually do what they claim, which is you can plug it into the car and be able to kind of actively read the vehicle? So what we're going to do, I already have it installed that you can see down here. This is where the OBD port is for the Infinity. You plug these little fixed devices in. I bought two, one for the FX and one for the CX-50. When you're ready, ugh, you come inside. I have already programmed this one in, so I know if it works or not. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the car because you have to have the car running. Once the car is started, you can see the check engine light is on. So now we're gonna scoot over to the video of the screenshot or the screen capture of the app working to figure out what does this check engine light mean? Why is it on? So as we saw, the EVAP or the check engine light was for an EVAP code, which can most, most of the time with the Infinity is actually set off by the fuel cap. Sometimes it's tight, sometimes it's not. So that's kind of what I was expecting. I just wanted to verify. So as we also saw in the check engine light or the fixed app, you can also reset the code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the code and see if it comes back on. If the check engine light comes back on, then that means there's probably some issue that's not the fuel cap. I have tightened the fuel cap. Usually if you tighten the fuel cap, that check engine light will go away within 50 to 100 miles, depending on how long it takes the computer to go and reset everything. So that's a little bit of good information. So now let's go and check the Mazda. We're gonna take our little fix and this is what it looks like. Pulls out of its nice little packaging. You come down and find your OBD2 port, which on a CX-50 is right here on the edge. Plug that in, you saw that little blue light saying it was installed. I'm gonna close my device. And the car is dirty. I've been enjoying some nice trails off my in my free time. So with that, we get in the car, turn the car on, and from here we're gonna go to the screenshot and look at what it looks like. So as we saw, for whatever reason, the app 
would not work with the CX-50. Now, I don't know if it's because it was too close to the Infiniti or if the Mazda is too new or if there may be something wrong with the connection between the car and the port, but I contacted Fixed to see if we can try to figure out why it didn't work. So until then, I guess that's going to be it. And maybe we can get it working. If so, I can make another video to show it working with the CX-50. But you did see that it did work with the Infinity, so it does work. And I'm happy to see that it works. And it also has some other features here and there that you can use while driving your vehicle. I saw something that said you can test your 0 to 60, which is kind of neat. But uh, if you think the app is interesting, go ahead and check it out. It seems like it might be worth it. Um, again, this was not a sponsored video, just me curious about something that I had seen as a car person. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.